So you guys came along pretty early. So what, uh, Hungary opened up in the late 80s? Yeah, right? 89, no, 90. Time. Got it. Absolutely right. And then what happened was something strange happened then is that Hugh Johnson, I refer to Hugh because it really it's his vision that got this mm -hmm. whole thing going. And Hugh figured that there was one region in Europe that was underperforming quality, and that was in Tokai. He went there, they said, oh, welcome, Mr. Johnson, welcome. And they gave him all this 70s and 80s wines that to be made under the communist era, and they were lacking in fruit, they were bland, they were over-oxidized, because that's how the Russians liked them. And mm -hmm. it, during that time, 90% of all this stuff went to Russia. Eventually, somebody came along and said, look, how about you know, this style of wine? And then you could actually understand quite what made these wines so famous in the, in, in, in the, in, in the past few centuries. So then uh, Hugh got together with some other uh, friends, a joint venture, and we got 60 Hungarian producers, each bringing a hectare mm -hmm. to the party. And that's how it started. So we were the very first company um, to, uh, to um, invest in Hungary. Then the others followed, the French and the, uh, the Spanish, and they all followed that. But, you know, we Brits, we're, we're quite good at pioneering. I mean, we've done, <laughs> we've, we've done it before in Portugal and places. And yeah. This is a, another example of yeah. it. Yeah. So, so when you went back, okay, because all those wines from the 70s and 80s you're looking at were obviously not strong wines. Now to get, so how far did you have to go back to get a true grip on what real Tokai was. You know what I'm saying? This I do, absolutely. And this was one of the things that really concerns us at the beginning. Because yeah. here we were, foreigners um, in uh, foreigners in, in Hungary. Um, there was no really guiding light. Istvan Sepsu you now makes those wonderful wines. He was our first general manager. He really helped us. He made this wine here for us. Mm -hmm. But then we want to see really what, and we were very clear. That's why we called our wines Royal Tokai with a, mm -hmm. with a J I, unlike the international word, which is T-O-K-A-Y, yeah. and we went, we wanted to get everything absolutely right. So we did, we went to the Hungarian, um, the, the Hungarian Prime Minister at the time, uh, Mr. Nemet, who was then living in London, and he, um, he said, yes, I remember this is the style of wines that I used to drink on my grandfather's knee. We then went to a great restaurant in New York, the Four Seasons, mm -hmm. and Paul Covey was the managing director or general manager at that time, and, um, and he first tasted them and went, God, and wrote to Hugh saying, this, thank you, he said. This is, <laughs> this is we never, we Hungarians never thought we would see these fiery wines again. Uh -huh. Fiery in Hungarian is a good word, a yeah. good descriptor. Yeah. For us it may be slightly odd, but for yeah. them it was a good word. So we were, we were paranoid about you know, doing the right thing. And, and, and from day one, we've... Um, I think been seen to be doing the right thing by Hungarians and certainly uh, in the States where we've been for now 20 odd years uh, that, that people are, are you know, really appreciating the wines.